My name is Carol Ladwig. Um, I'm co-president of the UC Art Alumni Group and organized this. <laughs> um, Thank you very much. Um, I think we're in for a really exciting day. And I will turn this over to Jan Worm, who is an artist, an art instructor, a lecture organizer, a woman of many talents. And read, the, I won't go into all the details, but read your program. <laughs> and now for Jan. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I'm going to stay right here because I really want to have a, a wonderful dialogue all day with all of you. I'm so happy that you're here. Um, it is such a pleasure to welcome you to our 10th annual symposium, Art Negotiations, Choices, Compromises, Commitments. Most of us found that first choice very easy. We picked up that purple crayon out of the box. <laughs> We knew what we wanted. It all seemed very easy. Sometimes the pink crayon was used up and we had to use orange instead. We compromised. Or we asked a friend to share their pink, knowing full well that their black was going to be used up soon and they'd be wanting to use ours. But we knew with certainty we were going to fill the entire page with dogs and cats, and we were not going to sit talking the whole time we were committed. And we made more choices. Where we would study, how much tuition could we manage, whether we would take on student loans, how far from family and friends would we travel, and then, the decisions became more complex. What jobs might we pursue? Would we move to New York? Would we exhibit here or there? Was this the right gallery? Was this good enough? Should we stay? Should we leave? And we had our eye on the clock. The museum's Young Talent Award until the age of 30, emerging, new, two years post P MFA, and we had our eye on the other clock. That other clock, should we have a family? Could we still make our art? Would we need a real job with real benefits? Could we live as an adjunct, an independent contractor with two jobs? One way or another, we would continue to make art, to sustain a dialogue about art and culture, to share our experiences and insights with our peers, our students, our communities. This commitment to the value of this undertaking, this life in art, has a firm foundation. The belief that art is enriching, that art brings meaning to our lives, and that art is transformative. We're gathered here in one of the world's best public universities. And we have the privilege of welcoming these wonderful panelists who have not only created works of distinction, but have made some extraordinary choices along their unique paths 